Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's Gofani Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Uh, thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep subscribing, keep commenting, keep sharing, keep supporting us, keep watching, keep doing whatever you guys do. We really do appreciate and, and I hope you guys are doing alright. You can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Check out our second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the vlogs that we put out. So today, I'm going to be reacting to why was Prophet Muhammad's or Jesus name translated or changed in the Bible uh, I made do that so without wasting time let's get into the video though Muhammad means the praised one you have no right to translate names of people anybody your name should be retained mr. black is mr. black though he's white He's a European, a Caucasian, but you can't say Mr. Uh, Mr. Abu uh, uh, Aswad. You can't say in Arabic, he's Mr. Aswad. He is Mr. Black. If I say in Urdu, I say he is Mr. Black hair. I can't say he is Mr. Kala. You know? It's ridiculous. I have no right to translate names of people. You know, at one time, the president of South Africa was Munir Swat. Munir in Afrikaans means Mr. Swat means Black. Munir Swat means Mr. Black. But I have to retain the word Swat to tell you that he's an Afrikaner. If I translate it as Mr. Black, you might think he's an Englishman. If I translate it as Mr. Kala, you think he's a Pakistani. Can you see? If I translate it as Zulu, Nimzan Myama, it means black. You think he's a Zulu, the president of South Africa. You have no right to translate names of people. But they have been doing that. Muhammad Im, they translated as altogether lovely. But the word Muhammad is there in the Hebrew language in the original. Now, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we say, when we analyze, but to give you further proof, that this sickness has been very common among the translators of the Bible, more especially in Christendom. You see, they have been translating names like, for example, Messiah, Messiah. Jesus was the Messiah, Hebrew word, Messiah. In Arabic, Masih, translated Christ. How does that come about? How do we call him Christ? I said, you see, the Hebrew word Messiah or Messiah means to anoint, to rub over. You know, when we Muslims, when we go for Salat, prayer, we make wudu, ablution. And in the part of our ablution, besides washing the hands, brushing the teeth, washing the face, washing the feet, the arms up to the elbows, we wet our hands and we rub them over this way. Every Muslim does that. If he's, particularly with his prayers, five times a day he does that. Every time he makes wudu, he, after washing everything, he wets his hands and he rubs them over. Like this, like that, and like that. What do you call that? Masa. See, we say masa. Masa comes from the Hebrew word. Same word, basa. Masa, masaha in Arabic and Hebrew means to rub, to massage, to anoint. And the person who is so done, we call him Messiah, Masi, on whom this was done. Priests and kings were anointed, means rubbed over with holy oil or holy water. Say, so from today you are our priest, our imam, or from today you become our ruler. See, we say like the coronation ceremony, you have the gowning ceremony, now you have the anointing ceremony. That's what it means, anointed. So, Messiah. In Greek, translated in the Greek is Christos. Christos means anointed. And they take off the os. Christos is a bit lengthy, so you get left with Christ. Christ means the anointed one, the one who is anointed. Priests and kings were anointed. 
So this is the title of Jesus, Hazrat Isa alayhi salam. Jesus again was not his name. His name was classical Yeshua. Esau, Isa. That was his name in the Hebrew language when he was born. His mother didn't give him the name Jesus because there's no such word as Jesus in Hebrew. J, the J is not there. It's Isus, Esau, Isa. Yeshua, classical Yeshua. But they have a, a habit. The Western, he has a sickness for adding J's where there are no J's. They have what is called a J sickness. So Yusuf, there's a Joseph. Yaqub, there's a Jacob. See? <laughs> Johanna, there's a John. Where there is no J, they put a J. Latinizing the word, as if it sounds like Western. This is a sickness. All subject people have, but more particularly the Christians had it. They add J's. It says Yahuwah. So the Jehovah's Witness was Jehovah. They put a J where there's no J. Wherever. This is, I say, in, in religion, they do jaywalking. In my country, you can be charged for jaywalking. Jaywalking means, you know, you cross the street, you know, where there's not pedestrian crossing. There's supposed to be certain pedestrian crossing in our main roads. And if you cross anywhere else, the police on the other side, he can catch you and he can give you a ticket for what is called jaywalking. The Christians have jaywalked into people's names. Anywhere, everywhere. This is very, very interesting, no? Um, I'm trying to really, really understand something. Um, so should we say that the, if it's actually the Christians that put the J's in everything, should we say they put it according to the language, maybe the English language, as they translated it into English from previous versions in other languages or was the because i wonder was it hard for them to pronounce the previous names why not keep isa why not keep um yusuf you know such names otherwise this was very very funny to listen to it's the western sickness for me so should that western sickness be blamed on the english language or is there another reason as to why um people abandoned the way they pronounce it, the pronounced uh, names back then from Isa, from Jacob, all those things. Why put the J? Why change the names of Jesus and Muhammad in, um, should I say in English? Should I say in the Bible? Uh, yeah, so let me know what you guys actually think about this video. Anyone with a better explanation of what I've asked please feel free to comment down below if there's anything you want me to react to let me know that too in the comment section below just give me the name and the link and i'll be more than glad to actually react to it don't feel shy or you can actually suggest stuff on our instagram funny and jesse and just hit us in the dm uh, make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with the friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video